So we're going to be talking about the Philippine history iceberg. This was brought by user stablekey 5940 Found it in r slash Philippines while I was browsing subreddit. Thank you for posting this. This is going to be a series considering how many this is. For now, we're going to start with tier 1. This is how this will go. We'll be talking about per tier and my chop it up to different parts in each tier so it's gonna be a long long ride and hope you're gonna be there till the end of it so here it goes first is the battle of mactan this happened in april 27 1521 where magellan confronted lapu-lapu for resisting and not converting to christianity this resulted to the death of magellan under the hands of one of the warriors of lapu-lapu treaty of paris Treaty signed by Spain and U.S. on December 10, 1898, where the Philippines was included in the countries that was ruled by Spain to be ceded to the U.S. worth 20 million U.S. dollars at that time to the Spain. Next is martial law. President Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law on September 21, 1972, because of a supposed threat coming from the Communist Party of the Philippines and the Mindanao Independence Movement. Yeah, there are a lot of um, controversies on how this was approved, how this was started, because it was allegedly, uh, let's not talk about too much of this, because of, the, of, because of all the conspiracies and everything else. Next is the execution of Jose Rizal. He was died by firing squad on December 30, 1996, which is a national holiday, by the way. He was wrongfully accused of being connected to the KKK, meaning Rastasang Kagalang Galangan Katipunan, not what the KKK stands for in the U.S. He was then buried in an unnamed grave. grave. While I was searching about this topic, this is where I learned that the firing squad was actually Filipino soldiers that was part of the Spanish army. And behind the Filipino soldiers were Span Spaniards. So it was the Spanish army in case the Filipino soldiers would not proceed with shooting Dr. Seriza. Yeah, pretty interesting info. The Spanish colonial occupation started when Magellan landed in 1521 up to 1898 during the Philippine Revolution. This year, the Philippines celebrated the quintessential 500 years of Christianity, which started when the Spanish arrived in the Philippines. Battle of Marawi, a five-month-long armed conflict in Marawi between the Philippine army and the ISIL, which is Islamic Jihadist group, I think, which also includes the Maote and the Abu Sayyaf groups. Execution of Andres Bonifacio In May 10, 1887, the Bonifacio brothers, the leaders of the KK revolutionary movement, was executed. This then caused most of the rebel forces to lose heart and quit. I remember this being a betrayal. No, no I wasn't able to. Sir. The Hukbalahap, a communist-led rebellion that first started out as an anti-Japanese rebellion. When the Philippines has obtained independence, the Hooks refused to side with the government and seized Central Luzon with their own regional government, where they were also trying to have a seat in the government. They were then stopped with the help of the U.S. supplied weapons and along with their Mon Magsaysay's popularity. At that time, the Hukbalahap was waiting for the Philippine people to lose trust in our government because of issues or scandals, I think. At that time, they were supposed to join the election campaign, but their hideout was raided, so they were stopped at that time, luckily. Because of researching this topic, I've learned just now that it was a communist-led party. I remember this was just revolutionary movements, but never knew it was a communist-led party, so the Philippines could have been a communist country if they succeeded in their plans. Battle of Manila Bay. In May 1, 1899, this was during the Spanish-American War, the American Asiatic Squadron, led by Commodore George Dewey, engaged in a battle with Spanish Pacific Squadron, led by Rear Admiral Patricio Montojo, which took place in Manila Bay. Thus, Battle of Manila Bay. And lastly, for this part, 
of Plan Tokhang. Uh, national law enforcement to warn drug traffickers, pushers, and users to stop. So this started during the Duterte administration. This caused controversy due to some issues on extradition, judicial killing, and human rights violations. Indeed, it has helped lessen the number of users. Those who were addicted to the drugs were motivated to rehabilitate. However, yeah, controversy. So that's it. Next week, we're going to talk about part two of tier one. Hopefully, we're going to finish tier one by then. Looking forward to see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye.